Well, the first first aid post became very unstable. And early in January 1915, the Belgian soldiers and Elsie's first chap, uh, George Gilson, said, you can't stay there any longer, it's too dangerous, you're going to be killed in there. So they found another place, a ruin um, in Pavisa, and they uh, built a concrete room within this building. And this is just the front of the building, the rest has just been blown off. And it's heavily sandbagged. And you may or may not be able to see a, a very interesting little character here. Can you see this little character? Can you see a dog there? Can you see the head of a fox terrier? Well, he's very important, this dog. I'm not being sentimental. He's very important because he often wanders into the photographs. He's very much part of the family of the, this, these two. He wanders into photographs. He's, he's there all the time. He keeps the rat population at bay because, of course, there's a huge rat population feasting on the corpses of the, um, the, the, the dead. And he's good at that because he's a terrier. Um, he also is used to take messages to the German trenches because one of the important things that Elsie and Mari did, one of the many things they did was when any British airmen um, were shot down in no man's land, they were very anxious that the family back in Blighty or wherever would know that they'd been killed. They didn't want them to have this lingering hope that their loved ones were still alive. So they would wait for the fighting to calm down. They would put a message in Schott's collar in Elsie's schoolgirl German, and they would send the dog over to the German trenches, and the message would be read saying, uh, we've seen some of our chaps been downed in Roman's, uh, no man's land. Um, can we remove the bodies? Can we um, remove the dog tags? And the Germans always let them do that. Um, and again, it's one of these really important but, uh, and highly unusual arrangements that they had with the German, um, Germans nearby. So Chop is very much a, an important messenger. And later on in the story, he actually saved their lives. But more of that when we get to that part of the story. So Chop's an important character and also, of course, really very good for morale.